a really common way of ending an arcade game uh, was to have uh, the time expire. So I've got a bit of an example here. You can see it says time expired, press start to reset. And then the time's counting down, probably in the top right hand corner or in the top middle as you're playing the game. Uh, and when the time runs out, that's it. However many points you've uh, gotten, etc. Now, the reason this used to be so popular was because arcade machines, uh, they were trying to get as much money out of you as possible in the shortest amount of time. And this would sort of limit uh, limit the amount of time you could spend on for, for your 20 cents or whatever you paid for the arcade game. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing is that we need uh, a timer variable. Uh, you could call it time remaining, timer, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, but I've called mine timer and in the init function, I've set that to zero. Now in the update function, uh, what we need to do is, um, I'll just say handle timer. So this might look a little bit complicated, but I'm going to step through one step at a time with you. The first thing is, if the timer is greater than zero, i.e. it's 10 seconds or something like that. Um, and when you press space here, it gets set to 10 seconds. So if it's 10 seconds, so if it's above zero, then we're going to subtract the amount of seconds that have passed since the last update function, which is 1 60th of a second. So a very small part of a second. So basically timer minus equals, so that takes away from it, 1 60th or one divided by 60. So that's going to get our timer counting down at the correct speed, one per second. Okay, 60 times, 60 times a second, one sixtieth of a second. Now, if time is no longer above zero, that means that the time has triggered, it's gone off. So what do we do in that case? Well, I'm going to set the timer back to zero just to avoid negative numbers in case that caused some weird bug somewhere. And I've actually got a variable called mode in my game and I've set it to game over and the other mode that my game could be play. So I'm going to set it to game over and then if keyboard.space is pressed, then I'm going to set the timer back to 10 and set it to play again. Now just remember and be careful that once the timer has expired, this will actually run every update function because think about it. If the timer is less than zero or zero or less, then we're going to set the timer to zero. Check this. Is space pressed? No. Next function, next uh, update frame. If timer is greater than zero, no. So it's going to run this again. So it's going to keep running this again. So you can put some sort of thing in here to do to reset the timer if you wish. Okay. I hope that makes some sense. Um, it is a very, very useful uh, tool to making your game feel challenging if you're making a simple game. Uh, finally, down here, as you can see, uh, we've set the font to Eduline, which I thought looked really cool. Uh, and I just set that in init because I want the same font for everything. Um, and then down here in the draw function, I've just got two different things drawn depending on the game mode. So if mode equals play, then draw text time remaining, blah, 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 blah else draw text time expired and you can have a look at that code but basically the idea is when the time expires i've changed the mode from uh, play to game over and then what gets drawn on the screen is different okay i hope that helps and uh, i can't wait to see your game